can Batmite team up with Damian Wayne to defeat an all-new evil villain? Let's find out together, shall we, as we dig on into Batmite number three. As the comic opens, we can see Damian Wayne, aka Robin, attempting to salvage some of the Batmobile parts that fell into the ocean all the way back in the first issue. He is ambushed, unfortunately, by a new villain calling himself Gridlock. What's Gridlock's power? Well, you would think it would be to make you super annoyed in traffic jams, but no, his power is actually if he touches you, you stop. Just stop dead in your tracks, which admittedly is a pretty useful power when you stop and think about it. I wish I could stop time every time the rent is due. From there, we head on over to the two people who have taken Batmite in as of last issue. Their names are Regan and Weed. Regan is a very clean-cut woman who we eventually find out is working as an agent for a governmental body. And Weed, well, his name pretty much says it all. He's a stoner, slacker, hippie who loves cereal. I mean, what? They both kind of want to kick Batmite out as he is a really annoying house guest and is overstayed as welcome. Ah, but they owe him for the whole life-saving thing, so it's pretty awkward. On the TV, Gridlock makes his demands because this is Gotham City and because it's just that damn easy to hijack the television airwaves every time you have a manifesto. His manifesto is a simple one. Either Batman comes and fights him or Damien dies. And because Batman is nothing if not a neglectful father, Batmite figures that this is a great chance to earn some brownie points with the old Dark Knight by going to save Damien on his own, who, poor Damien, is currently floating over a giant pool of sharks. Hmm, Batman sharks, what do you do in this situation? Shark repellent, yep, that's right. Good old bat shark repellent. The Adam West classics never go out of style, do they? Unfortunately for Batmite, Damien isn't exactly grateful for being saved. After all, Batmite is silly and funny, Damien is dark and gloomy, and they quickly get on each other's nerves. However, they do put it aside long enough to fight Gridlock himself. What's Gridlock's deal, you might be wondering? Well, surprisingly, he has a bone to pick with the youth of America. Yeah, I know, weird, right? You look at this car-themed guy with, like, a traffic jam-themed name, and you don't think he would hate kids. But he does, which is why he singled out Damien and why he has a plan to cause more evil deeds. The bad guy escapes, but as we find out, there's more than one hero after him. That hero turns out to be Booster Gold and his robot buddy Skeets. Yep, that's right, a DC comedy classic is going to be meeting up with Batmite. Next issue. Batmite number three is another fun little romp, although it does uh, lack a little bit in the chaotic cartoon energy that made me like the first two issues so much. This one buckles down a little bit and tries to tell more of a story. It's fun to see Batman teamed up with Damien, but it's maybe not the meeting that I was really hoping for. Uh, Gridlock is a fun design for a villain. Uh, I certainly liked seeing him, and the promise of Booster Gold next issue really has me coming back. So, uh, yeah, overall, good, not great, could have been better. I give it a 7 out of 10.